If the old saying, it's what's up front that counts, holds true for the Bears on defense, then it should be quite a season. Virtually the entire defensive line returns from a squad that allowed just over 21 points a game a year ago. It is a group that at least one preseason magazine called the best in the country. Leading that charge is All-American tackle Brandon Meebane. At 6'3", 295 pounds, the senior from Los Angeles is poised to improve upon his seven sacks and nine and a half tackles for losses in 05. Defensive coordinator Bob Gregory believes Meebane sets the tone for everybody else. Physically very, very strong. I mean, he can really take on double teams. Uh, anytime he's single block, he, he really establishes a new line of scrimmage. Uh, it's, it's really tough for people to single block him. And, and even on, on pass rush, if they're going to single block him on pass rush, you don't got a chance to have him come free. Meebane's best virtue might be patience because of constant double teams. It's going to come, you know, some, some time in the game, it's going to come where my opportunity comes where they're not going to double team me. And basically, you know, just stay focused, you know, be, be patient, and, you know, things will things come fall in place. If the D-line is the best in the nation, the linebacking core is not far behind. The Bears are blessed with talent and experience at all three positions. From seniors Desmond Bishop and Mickey Pimentel to freshman All-American Zach Follett and Anthony Felder, this unit is loaded with speed, strength, and savvy. In fact, position coach Bob Foster says it might be the best group he's been around in four decades. And I've worked with some very, very good ones. And I think that's probably as a group, yeah, physically, probably. Uh, now we have to see if we can get something done. So, you know, there's a lot more to it than just being a better physical guy than the next guy. Bishop was the headliner last season, a second-team All-League selection. The native of Fairfield racked up 89 total tackles, including six behind the line of scrimmage. The 6'2", 243-pounder says the competition among his fellow backers will make everybody better. Uh, that's tremendous. I mean, we got a lot of good, lot of good athletes out there. So, um, you know, and, and we compete. You know, like you know, nobody, nobody uh, job is written in stone. So. It kind of helps us to compete and keep competing over and over, play, and play after play. Entering the season, the Bears needed to fill the void at safety left by the departed duo of Donnie McCluskey and Harrison Smith. Junior Thomas DeCoud has extensive playing time at one spot, while former walk-on Brandon Hampton has impressed at Rover. The secondary took a major hit a couple of weeks ago when senior cornerback Tim Mixon suffered a season-ending knee injury. But Gregory has confidence in possible replacements Randy Bundy, Sidquan Thompson, and Robert Peel. He also has the luxury of knowing the other corner is manned by preseason All-American Dante Hughes. With 28 career starts on his resume, Hughes is excited about number 29, Saturday's visit to Tennessee. It's a chance to jumpstart the season and earn some respect from naysayers around the country. It's going to be a big challenge for us, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be you know, huge for them too. So. No matter what they think of our football, they, they still gonna have to line up against us. They still gonna have to play, and we're gonna be ready to bring it. You know, come September second. Well, defensively, coach, obviously you have a, a squad. You've got plenty of athletes. You've got plenty of experience. Uh, outstanding coordinator and Bob Gregory. It appears as though the defense is set to have another great year. Yeah, I, I really believe so, and, and you're right, it, it starts with Coach Gregory. He's done a great job of putting the guys in position to be successful. Uh, we've been fortunate to keep continuity over there, and so that's been great. But we have a lot of ability over there. You, you know, there's no question that that was a strong unit for us last year, and now they're even more experienced. We had some junior college kids that played for us last year for their first time, and now this year they have a, a year under their belt, and so I think they're going to be a very strong unit. You know, any coach will say that a good defense starts up front. And at least one preseason magazine thought that you had the best defensive line in the country based on not only outstanding individuals, but also the depth in that defensive line. Yeah, I, I believe that uh, that group is going to be very strong, led by Brandon Meebane. Uh, he's a force in the middle, there's no question about it, that you're going to have to game plan around him. He, he, he requires a double team or he's going to make it a long day for you. So him inside, along with Matt Malele, uh, those two guys are very powerful inside. And at the end, New Tafisi has really become a great player. He's one of those junior college kids we had last year who has done a phenomenal job, and, and he's a real force off the edge. We talked to Bob Foster, who is the uh, linebackers coach, and he came back this year coming out of retirement for the fourth or fifth time. I kind of lost track on that. Yeah. But anyway, a nice addition to your staff there replacing Justin Wilcox. But he was talking about the linebacking core 
and just how excited he is about them. They keep him young, he says, a lot of athletes, and now everybody there has experience because last year they played three different freshmen in those positions. Yeah, exactly, and it's a good time to come out of retirement for him. <laughs> uh, with, with a group like that, it makes it pretty easy. Uh, you know, led by Desmond Bishop, uh, um, you know, he's an All-American candidate, first-team All-Conference guy who has tremendous instincts, just a great leader for our defense, and so he's done a great job. And then you take a look at, at some of the younger guys there that are going to be around for a while. And uh, you, you look at Zach Follett, you look at Anthony Felder, two freshman All-Americans, uh, those guys in the mix. Uh, Greg Van Heusen is another one. Mickey Pimentel, it's a strong side linebacker coming off the edge with Justin Moy. That group is very, very talented. Warrell Williams is another guy inside who can play Will or Mike. And so it's, it's a great group. They can run. They have great instincts. It's, it's as good a group at linebacker as we've had since we've been here. I know Bob uh, likes to run a lot of man-to-man -man defense, and to do that, you have to have two good corners, and you've got that in two of uh, the better cornerbacks, not only in this conference, but maybe in uh, the country as well. Yeah, we, we feel good about uh, Damian Hughes and, and Timmy Mixon. Those guys have played a lot of games for us, and they have great experience out there. Um, they have a lot of confidence out there. Um, you know, they've, they've had their share of, of big games, and so they know what it's all about. So we feel very good about them, along with Sid Thompson. Sid Thompson has had a great camp. Uh, he's very, very talented. He's a redshirt freshman, so he's going to provide a little depth there. Well, another thing that will help you, your program in the future, would be the expansion, the renovation of Memorial Stadium. When we come back, we'll talk more about that.